What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. I hope you guys are having a good day and it's finally the day that I show you guys my YouTube studio. We're starting off in the garage here just because the Forerunner is a part of the channel now and this baby will be getting some updates pretty soon. Now if you guys stick around until the end I have a huge announcement for our 300k giveaway brought to you by Urban EDC Supply. Let's not waste any more time and go inside. I know a lot of you guys are camera nerds, so just so you know what I'm shooting with, I am using a Canon R6 with a bunch of different glass. Right now you guys are looking through a 16 mil f2.8 RF lens, and then I've got a few others that we'll talk about here in just a second. Now the reason why I chose this as my studio setup here in the basement is because one, I like it super cool, especially if we're gonna be running massive studio lights all over the place. Those things put out a lot of heat. And second, because this is the biggest area inside the house, I think it's about 600 square feet that we have to use. Let's go ahead and start off here in the corner where my primary set is. And this is where you guys usually see everything happening. We'll start off with this like shelf thing first. So I've got all of my O-lights sitting up here. Just a bunch of O-lights. I've got a really nice art piece right here from Ashley. She got that for my birthday one year. And then sitting on all these shelves are just like random stuff. I've got an extra Peak Designs bag. So when we go to like Blade Show and stuff like like that my brother can carry that and then a bunch of other maintenance products a lot of you guys have been asking about my bookshelf I literally got this thing off of Wayfair I think they go for about 200 bucks and then I upgraded it with some backlighting from Ikea this entire setup probably costs about $250 and if you guys want to see more about this thing let me know in the comments section there's a bunch of stuff on this bookshelf and let's just go through these real quick so the first thing on this shelf here on the very top is going to be my Axial SCX-10 custom built crawler. I absolutely love this thing. It's been hopped up to the brim. I've got a ton of money into it. It's got its transmitter right here. And yeah, I just kind of want to show it off. I mean, it has genuine beadlock tires. That thing's crazy. Right under that, we just have this really basic lamp. I think this thing is from Target. And over here, we've actually got a custom letter written from Ben Peterson. He sent that along with this poster that we'll look at here in just a moment. Below that, I've got some knife cases. So this is where I put all of my budget knives we can go through that in a later video and then my vault cases go here as well under that is where i store my kme and then just a box full of random stuff next to it we've got my work sharp precision adjust along with my strop that i use all the time and guys i still have to do a video on this work sharp sharpener that thing is amazing right above that is going to be my vault v200 this is where i put all of my nicer knives there's a bunch of them inside this just to kind Kind of give you guys a quick peek yep and there's three layers in this thing just in case we have a fire or anything like that this will just kind of keep all of those knives protected and above that is going to be my g-shock collection this is housed in the holman hadfield i think it's like the super watch case i'm not sure it holds seven of them and i just like to put this on display i do have an additional phillips hue light here that thing is pretty sweet as well you can change it to whatever color you want it just kind of gives it a really nice glow inside the watch case there's just a bunch of other edc gear we've got a bunch of pens in here i've got my bit bar and then just a bunch of edc tools above that is going to be my knife case from home in hadfield as you can tell i've got a lot of products from them this is just going to be showcasing the knives that i don't regularly carry inside here is not too much i think i've got some sheaths and then some other stuff yeah these cases just live on the bookshelf just to kind of drive the aesthetic inside the studio as we walk over here you guys voted to paint this wall gray in an instagram post so i did paint it gray and to give it a little bit more of a backdrop i did mount or ceiling mount this sl60w godux light this thing is perfect just because it gives it a lot more separation in terms of me and the background over here we've got just a lounge chair couch thing so whenever people come over they'll usually just chill out on the couch i've got my nano leaves connected here going diagonally across the walls and then over here we've got a poster from ben peterson the one i was talking about before he did this in 
collaboration with Chris Reeve knives. You've got the Sabenza here. It says think twice, cut once. I just really like that poster. So I put it right next to my 100K play button. This thing is living right there. And I think it just gives it a really nice glow when the nano leaves hit it. It's crazy guys. We were at 100K at the beginning of the year, but now we're at 320K at the time of filming this video, which is just insane. Up here above the couch, I've got this poster thing that says stay humble, hustle hard. I just really like that poster and it just drives again that aesthetic that I enjoy. Let's move over here. So this is usually what I see when I'm filming. The camera is usually sitting on that tripod. I've got my microphone here, which is a Sennheiser MKE 600. That's how I get that really crisp audio. I've got some paper here, just in case I need to take some notes. We've got a scale so I can weigh things. If I'm disassembling a knife, we've got this Prometheus work mat, a bunch of lightning OTFs, my brother's knife. We've got the JRW cheat sheet pro. This thing is awesome. Just to kind of keep things organized and not have things fly over the desk. And of course we've got some KPL products. So I've got the lightweight, the heavy, we've got the blue Loctite stick and normal Loctite. This is all laying on top of this Husky standing desk. I think it's the 56 inch version. It just works really well if I need to raise the desk or lower it. And then I got this super cheapo chair. The reason why I like this thing is because it literally cuts off right here and then you guys don't actually see this thing in my shots. Okay, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, guys. So here is all of the boxes for things that I still need to review. I usually leave my fixed blades here on this kind of like side table. Table. This is actually one of those safes that you put on the outside of your house, but I just wanted to put it on the inside. Got a tripod here and then onto the first workstation area. I primarily use this area for product storage, so I'll just throw some boxes back there if that starts running out of space, which it is. An extra monitor if I want to hook up my MacBook to it. And then on this side of the table is where I store a lot of my camera gear. This just makes it super accessible so I can just grab something and go if I'm planning a shoot. And then one of the things that is super important to me and that is going to be the c stand setup that i use here i literally use this for overhead shots with this normal camera if i'm shooting a youtube shorts video i can just clamp my phone right there i've got headphones and microphone ready to go and then this thing is on a grip head guys if you're a youtuber a c stand is one of the best things you can do to upgrade your studio onto this area and i've just got a bunch of product boxes in there you probably don't even want to see that and on this side i've got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, guys, I am not going to lie. I am one of those people that love hoarding knife boxes. You should definitely leave a comment if you are one of those people. But yeah, I kind of have this arranged to the point where like all of my really important knives and high end stuff goes on the very top. We've got a bunch of bench made boxes. This is more mid grade stuff. And then down here is where all like the Civivi and budget stuff goes. Kind of gives you a reference of what the collection looks like. Okay, over to this area. So I literally just put this thing up. This is gonna be a paper backdrop setup. You can roll this stuff up or roll it down. You can put up different colors. I've just got gray and white right now. I still need to fill in that color. What do you guys think? What color should I put up on that? I was thinking black, but I don't know. We've got an extra PC case that my brother gave me right there. And then this is gonna be the primary area where I shoot a lot of my pictures along with product videos. This is a sit stand desk. I got this off of a local classifieds listing for like $150. This thing is awesome. You've got a butcher top from Ikea. And then this just makes it so much easier when I'm going to film a specific product if I really want to isolate it and use that paper backdrop. Speaking of products, let's talk about the 300K giveaway. Here are the products that Urban EDC Supply sent out for our 300K giveaway. The first thing is gonna be a Raylite Pineapple in Brass. This is a fantastic flashlight. I know it because I own one. It's actually sitting on my desk over there. Next up, we've got the knife and of course, of course, it's going to be the Protec Runt. This is the textured bronze version with a mosaic push button. This thing is just insane. The Runt is one of my most favorite mini EDC knives. You've got a 20 CV blade, 
that thing is not cheap whatsoever. Next to that, we've got the TMP tie breaker, but this is going to be the Urban EDC Supply exclusive with the Sagaya motif. I'm a heavy endorser of this pry bar because I use mine literally every single day. It's one of my most used tools. So I was like, hey guys, we got to get one of these for the giveaway. This thing is awesome. Next to that, we've got the M3 Tactical Juggernaut Gen 3. This is going to be an SFK. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up. The cool thing about this one is it does have the Sagaya pattern across it as well. This is a really cool piece of pocket art. And along with that, we've got some combat beads that we're including. These are the mini civilian and reload beads. They literally just stack on top of each other with some paracord. And basically you can attach that to any of these EDC items. I would probably attach it to the juggernaut because those would go really well with each other. Okay, so the last portion of my studio setup is going to be where everything happens in terms of editing. First off, we've got my Secret Labs Omega chair. This thing has been amazing. I've had it for about two and a half years now. First thing, the desk. This is going to be a Flexi Spot E7 desk, I believe. They sent this out so I can review it. It's a massive desk. I'm able to fit my fully water cooled PC on here along with three monitors. These ones are mounted vertically and then I've got my single ultra wide monitor over here. A lot of people ask about my microphone setup. So I've got my Go XLR mixer chilling over here. This just gives me a ton of functionality in terms of channel mixing and all that cool stuff. This is my Blue Spark SL. I think this is a limited edition version because it's in red. This mic is going to be aligned all the way to the Go XLR by using this knockoff Rode PSA 1 mic arm. This thing was like 30 bucks on Amazon, which not bad whatsoever. And then of course my headphones are some Audio Technica M50Xs. These are also limited edition in this olive green. Okay. Okay, so the other stuff on my desk, we've got a custom Ducky 1-2 Mini with a custom cable. I've got a bunch of different key switches on here. I kind of changed up the aesthetic recently because I just wanted to get a gray, gold, white type of aesthetic to match up with this JRW Cheat Sheet Pro. This one is in gray and then it does have these brass fittings here. On the desk, I've got the Koenig Arius and, and then right here we've got our Raylite pineapple brass. This thing has been used all the time, especially if I'm trying to get under the desk and work under there, or if I just need additional light because up here we have no palm lights. So it can get kind of dark while sitting down. Got a few other pieces of pocket art here inside the JRW cheat sheet. And then in terms of speakers, I have the Audio Engine A2s paired up with the GSX-1000 external sound amplifier. Of course, I've got my AirPods here in this Ander case along with my pouch. This is the Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch. If you guys don't know what this is, go check out my review on that. You can check the link in the description and I'll include that. In terms of mouse of choice, because I do so much editing here on this setup, this thing lasts forever and it's wireless. So I absolutely love this thing. Back over here, I do have an SD card reader and my stream deck so I can control the different scenes when I do have a stream going on. And then of course my lenses, this is going to be my 24 to 105, my 35 and my 100 mil macro. This is where I put all my SD cards. This thing's super easy, stores a bunch of them. When it comes to making YouTube videos, keeping your data safe is probably the most important thing, especially if you've gone out and done a lot of filming. I totally skipped the mouse mat, but this is from Popov Leather. This thing is just so nice. It's got that patina now. You can totally tell that I use the crap out of this thing. It's a full-size desk mat, so it can fit a full-size keyboard, a mini keyboard, and a bunch of mouse space. It makes the room smell entirely of leather. If you guys are looking for a nice, aesthetically clean mouse mat, I would suggest this Popov one. Aside from that, we've got my patch collection here right under my mini RC car, and I've got a bunch of uh, Ranger Eye patches. Aside from that, we've got all of my different colored poster boards. This is literally how I get all of my backgrounds in flat lays. These things come in handy a ton. Back inside there is a bunch of just storage stuff and that is pretty much my entire setup. So there's everything. Before you guys go, this is how you're going to go ahead and enter in this giveaway. I showed you guys all of these products that we are giving away. Thank you so much to Urban EDC Supply for sending this out. 
for the 300K giveaway. I know we're already at 320K, but hell, it's only been like a week and we gained like 20K subscribers. So how you're gonna wanna enter this giveaway is basically just leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know which item you want the most. Of course, the winner's gonna win the entire loadout, but I just kinda wanna know what you guys are interested in. Throw this video a like if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Make sure that you're subscribed and also have those notifications on. The reason why I say that is because I will be announcing this giveaway live on stream. I should be going live on August 5th at around 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It could be sooner, it could be later. Again, just have those notifications on so that way you can be there when I announce the winner. I think someone's gonna really appreciate this stuff. Once again, thank you guys so much for the 300K. I couldn't have gotten here without you guys. And this entire studio setup is dedicated to you guys. I don't wanna take more of your guys' time, so thank you guys so much for dropping by and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Tell my body.